To me, we've talked to you for years about these issues, and to see them converge in, in these number of stories this week, I wonder, do you think we're at an inflection point? I would like to think so, Carl, but time will tell. I mean, Francis Haugen is so courageous, so authoritative, and so utterly convincing that she's taken issues that we knew about before, provided documentation that demonstrates conclusively that Facebook's management had been warned repeatedly about horrible problems and chose not to take appropriate steps. Now, here's the real key issue. You know, Francis Haugen knows a moral failing of prioritizing profits over public safety. The problem with that is that the culture of business in this country, in fact, the culture of the whole country, is that it is the duty of corporations to maximize shareholder value. That is the ethos in which we live. Every company operates that way. And the problem with Facebook is not just with Facebook. It's surveillance capitalism. It's something that every major internet platform uses. And now, frankly, almost every large company in the economy has adopted some form of it. And it's unregulated. So the problem here isn't what they do that's illegal. The problem is the things that they do that are legal. And the question of whether we're going to, Congress is going to restore any balance between the rights of corporations and the rights of citizens. And for investors, that's a huge question because it goes way beyond Facebook. Are you of the mind, uh, Roger, to agree with, the, like, for instance, the Times piece today uh, by Kevin Roos, that it is stiffer competition from the Snapchats and the TikToks that has pushed Facebook to either more aggressive action or, or more active disengagement from those protective measures? No. I think that the disengagement has been there from the beginning. I think what Kevin observes is, is demonstrably correct in that Facebook is like, you know, the the old guy who tried to dress like a teenager. You know, they're they're trying to sustain really high growth rates in a mature business, which is always a delicate proposition, no matter what category you're in. And the way they're going about it is just not, you know, it's not reflecting well on them. But the underlying problems represent much more than just a mature company grasping for additional growth. This stuff has been there from the beginning. The issues with Instagram, for example, and the problems with teenage girls, that is in the fundamental design. Instagram was built around filters that made people look better in, on Instagram than they look in real life. It was built around envy. That, that's not something that is there because Facebook's facing threats you know, to its growth. That was there from the beginning. And these issues exist at Google, they exist at YouTube, they exist in di different forms at Amazon. And now you see it elsewhere. You see it in with AI being applied to things like predictive policing and mortgage lending and resume review, where, again, knowing too much about people allows AI effectively to control the choices available to people. And that's, you know, the question is, is that the kind of society we want to live in? And it's a question Congress is going to face. And Ms. Haugen, to her credit, has taken away the last excuse Congress had for inaction because there's so much evidence of the problem that there's, they just have to do something about safety, they have to do something about privacy, and they have to do something about improving the antitrust laws. And the question is, are they going to do that? If they don't do it, then these stocks are going to be fine. If they do it, then there are going to be issues for lots of stuff.